Iran's nuclear secrets have been exposed. But President Biden has not revised his policies in response. Spies steal secrets. Sometimes, those secrets must be carefully studied and analyzed by experts to turn them into products useful to policymakers. The spies I'll be talking about here worked for the Mossad. The expert who has painstakingly transformed the secrets they collected into actionable intelligence is David Albright. And the policymaker who should be revising his policies in response to a clearer picture of reality is President Joe Biden. The story begins on a cold night in January 2018, when Israeli agents stealthily broke into a warehouse in southern Tehran where Iran's rulers had stored an archive of their nuclear weapons program. In an interview broadcast on Israeli television last week, former Mossad chief Yossi Cohen revealed new details of the operation. Planning required two years and included the construction of a replica of the warehouse. Twenty agents were trained for the mission. None of them were Israelis. They had less than seven hours to carry out their risky mission. In the morning, trucks, guards and workers arrive, and there's a crowd and you can't just jump over fences and break through walls, said Cohen. Only when they broke into the formidable safes and began to go through the images and Farsi descriptions did we realize that we had what we wanted on the Iranian military nuclear program. The agents quickly spirited the materials, more than 55,000 pages of documentation and nearly 200 computer disks, out of the country. None of the agents was captured but, Cohen said, some had to be rescued from Iran. Three months later, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu held a press conference. He said the materials proved that Tehran had a program to design, build and test nuclear weapons, to use at a time of its choice to develop nuclear weapons. That meant that the nuclear deal President Barack Obama had concluded in 2015, the Joint Comprehensive Plan of Action, JCPOA, was predicated on lies told by Iran's rulers, and that the JCPOA did not, as claimed, block their path to a nuclear weapons capability.